this microphone helped to start off my professional playing journey as a saxophonist. My goal in this video is to tell you all you need to know about this microphone and if it's right for you. Let's get into it. So, where does this leave it? The Samsung AH1 is one of the first and most compact wireless saxophone microphones on the market. Um, this particular version is off the market from Samsung, but for the time it was on, it was the flagship they had at the time. Now they have a newer version that is kind of smaller than this one, and eventually we'll get to see what that one is like, but if it's anything like this one, then you have a bargain. So we'll get into the things I like, things I don't like about the microphone. The first thing I like, er ergonomics. Um, the shape of this microphone, the way it's set up, it just goes. I put in my battery, it comes with a battery, AAA battery pack, and I get to start up my recordings and everything. Um, the setting is not that bad. The setup itself, the cage where it re receives the signal is kind of bulky, but it's just a single flap. So it's a rectangular flap that goes into your bag. I see the only thing that actually takes space is the wire the wiring, the cables, the XLR cables you need, or the quarter inch cables if you choose to use that, because he has options for both. Um, it has a mic and a line level input, which is also pretty good. For the first few years, I didn't really understand the difference. I just noticed that the line was better, but let me help you out here. If you don't know what the line is and the mic is. So the mic level output, in layman's terms, the mic level output is what the signal receives. It hasn't yet been increased or Amplified. It's just the raw signal and it's kind of very low, low sound volume, but you get a more full sound. And the line has already been processed a bit, it's been amplified a bit. So instead of doing the application in the actual device, I now tend to choose a mic level output and run that into my vocal processor, the V20, which you see a video about in the past and I should make some few ones after that in the future. But that's the difference between this one, the mic and the line level output. So with that, the shaping of the microphone is really good. The adapter cable plugs in and I put it on and I start recording. As far as cost, where does cost put this? It puts this right in the middle. It's not one of the cheaper microphones you could get. It's not the most expensive. It's right in the middle tier. I'll take some other mics that come close in terms of um, price and quality. There's some you could find I'm not going to talk about those yet because my research about those are few, but I know the iSolo I from Cloud is a good option too, but that's going to be another time, another video. Again, <laughs> back to me. It's worth noting that this microphone is off the market. They discontinued this version, but my hope from this review is that this version is pretty similar to the newer version they have on the market. I haven't tried that one yet, but Having an idea about this one and its sound gives you a better idea about the next one. And also, you can pick this one up used or on other sites because I know like Alibaba has this still, but it's up to you. But this is out of their lineup right now, but I still hope this is a vital video review to help you get your decisions made about what you want to get. But this one is one of the best for its price category. Let's talk about sound quality. Now there's something I've noticed with the sound. You're gonna hear it for yourself. Hear me playing a few pieces with it and tell me what you think about the sound.
So you heard the sound quality. What do you think? As for me, I haven't had no problems with this for the past few years. I did my okay. I won't say I have had no problems. I've had few problems for the past few years. I've been gigging, going around the world, playing in different places. What I do say is that there is a click, the sync click. When I'm moving my fingers, the keypads. The pads, you hear the sound of the clicks on the microphone, and I kind of wish that those sounds were less than they actually are, but yeah, you hear them a lot, and it tends to be with the settings, so if you have a good sound engineer, they could limit the noise you hear with those pads, and also whenever you are actually recording live, or whenever you're playing live, and you have like the drums in the background, or a guitar, or vocalist singing over you, you don't really hear those sounds because they end up being like a metronome, like they just clip into the music and it runs smoothly. As far as the signal, it just runs one signal, so you don't change the channel at all. You can't move to a different channel if your channel is overloaded. And I never really had problems with this until this year actually. So I played around with this for a few years, gigging different sites and different places, but it never really struck me that I couldn't change the channel until I came. Um, I started playing at a church, and a really big church where I grew up in. And what I found was that whenever no one else was playing, because we use a lot of wireless microphones, I could hear myself clearly. But immediately everybody else started singing and the whole music started growing louder. It just cut off. It could be the phone interferences from the audience. It could be all the other wireless microphones. It could be a combination. It could just be that the mic couldn't handle the, the atmosphere with so much, so many other frequencies going on around it. So that is the only concern I have with this microphone. And as far as the clip, I had some, I mean, I never had an issue with it, but sometimes it falls off. And right now the clip is actually cracking. I still can use it, but if you could see, you notice that there are some pieces that are not as, as factory set as they used to be. But the one fi feature I really like about this microphone is a mute function. It has a mute button on there so what that means is that when i'm at a song change we're on the key of f and we're changing to the key of a sharp but they don't even tell me the key they're going to they go to a new song i need to fiddle around with the sound a bit to figure out what i'm doing to make sure i'm not playing off so i mute it and i figure out what's happening and i put it back on when i get my cue so that i'm not interrupting with the sound and nobody in the main mixing decks has to put me off because i'm sounding off or anything like that Okay, before you we continue on in the video, uh, there is a something odd I found about the microphone. Well, anytime I turn it off, you hear this sound. And prepare yourselves because you might have to, you might screech a bit. That's the sound I hear anytime I put off from the power. If I put it on, leave it on mute. Totally silent. You don't hear anything. I don't know if it's something broken in it or I have no idea, but that's the sound it hears. And I guess that scares sound engineers a lot, so they end up muting my microphone a lot more than they would have muted it if it didn't have that sound at all. So thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, like this video. It helps this channel, it helps everything I'm doing out. And let me know what kind of videos you want to see in the future. What microphones do you have? What microphones are you thinking of switching to? What are you thinking of trying? Yeah, let us know in this community and we'll see you next time. Stay safe. Oh, one thing. I accidentally dropped both my microphones. Yeah, I dropped the Zoom H1 and I used the sound comparison and this one. So, here's what they sound like. That was not good. That was worse. Oh my god. I didn't mean to, it just happened. But, so I don't drop any more things, please use the links below.
and those are affiliate links. I might enter commission if you buy through those links. I really appreciate it and it helps this channel and helps me focus more on creating and you to focus more on getting the best content. I'm talking to you. Okay, right there. I see you. Okay. You see me? We agree? Fist bump. Okay. See you next time.